And we're back in the duck call room. Welcome, folks. It, uh, yeah, it's it's been a good, fun weekend. So I, I heard you had an interesting weekend, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I had a real nice weekend. What'd you do? And I don't know if y'all can put that up there or not. Oh, yeah. They get it that up there. That is Wounded uh, Warrior's Heart. Warrior's and, Heart. And hopefully I got it right. I say it's a ranch, okay, with a staff of doctors and people that help our veterans. Oh, that's okay, awesome. Okay, deal with the scars and trauma of war. Okay, so I met them and actually, you know, said a prayer to the Almighty for them to help them in their own road to recovery, okay, and told them that, you know, appreciated what they did for our nation. That's right. But it's a cool place, okay, and the staff is cool and the people are cool, our veterans. So then what they have you there for? Huh? No, I'm kidding. Oh, I just gave him a charge. To make change. Warrior's heart. That's pretty yeah. cool. No, That's awesome. it is. It is. And uh, hey, they're there great. They're great. And, all right, and any donation will be accepted. And I think you could probably look it up. Warrior's heart, maybe dot com. You know, I'm not I've, technical person. I got it right there. Yeah, look on the oh, table. On the table. Oh, you got there it? You go. I'm way ahead well, of you see. There, boss. Well, there you go, Jay. We were just making sure that you were giving the people the right information. Well, no, it no. is warriorsheart.com. He is there correct. You go. Okay. Well, dot com, baby. Well, Good work, son. Well, Si, I got it. So yeah. you just went to San Antonio, which ain't that far. What, how'd you get there? Did you drive? No, we flew. You flew? Ooh. Yeah. How'd Oh, what? no, we ain't, we ain't driving. Ain't. I t- uh, well, I'll take it back. I was to drive to Hearst, Texas here in October. Who was with you? Philip McMillan. Oh, McMillan yeah. was with you? Yeah, my handler. What, okay. How did you go through? What would you do? Go through Houston? Go through Dallas? How'd no, you- we went through Dallas, Fort Worth. Did you? And then when we come back, it was a, a miscommunication yeah. and a misconnection. Oh, you missed your connection. Oh, yeah. And then oh. I was nine hours layover. Nine hours? Yeah. You could have drove here twice. Well, no, I know. I know. But anyway, hey. You, you know, were in yeah. the Dallas airport for nine, nine hours? Nine hours. And look, and nine. they got somebody took a picture. A rent, somebody a took a picture of me and sent it to Al. <laughs> took a picture of Yeah, you. I'm laying down behind a, a, a bulkhead. What was you doing? I was tired. He you tired? You were just sleeping. I was tired, so yeah, it he took was me tired. an hour. So all you tired. did was slept in the But airport. the best part was I got I woke up and got bored. Yeah. And Philip had gave me his earmuffs. Really? And, and he had some good music on. Yeah. So look, the fans in the airport got a free show from, from yours truly. Did they? Oh, yeah. And they, they said they enjoyed it, too. So what would you do if we told you we had a video of said free show? Oh, well. That somebody <laughs> sent in video of the free <laughs> show from the airport. Uh, well, I'm saying. just saying one woman there when we landed here in Monroe last night at 1030, she said, hey, I enjoyed the show. Enjoyed you singing. You you through for the night or are you going on? I said, Well, I liable to so I have I liable to get in my recliner and just break out again. So, so we have questions. We've seen the video, <laughs> so, so I have a friend who is a he's a a pastor buddy of mine and he said, Your boy size in the airport screaming and I said, Well send me a video. Uh, and and well, hey, here they go. No, what what was funny <laughs> Philip was right in front of me. What were you singing about a cigarette? <laughs> and it, that, so he only sends Whatever, me five, there's a song that's got a cigarette in it. That's all I know. <laughs> so he sends me this five-second video. I said, no, 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 please go back. We need more. <laughs> we need more. So, so then we get a good layout here. Well, no, no, because look. Now we really know what's happening. Yeah, because you got to understand, Philip was right in front of me for a minute. Well, when I started singing, he tried to turn the music off, and I just kept going. So he done that. He turned it back on, and he left. He went over to the next uh, place to, that you leave from. We Terminal. Was at, yeah. We was at 30, and he went all the way over to 28 over there on yeah. the other side of the building. Yeah. So I'm just belting it out. So listen here. Look, don't let me get bored, because if so. <laughs> you can't go anywhere, so. Watch this move right here. Oh, hey. <laughs> Baby. It's like he knew he was being videoed. It's fantastic. I did. I never saw whoever done this. <laughs> well, technically, you did because he just walked he in this podcast room before we got oh, ago. Yeah. yeah, that's oh, my buddy Jeffrey. That was their old homie done it. <laughs> I can't believe homie done that to me. Oh, we we yeah, have, he's a preacher too. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and so that's just you 
So is that what you do? Hey, hey that's just me being look, me. There's people everywhere look, I ask know, me. Is look, I really finally, like that? Hey, I finally look, I got another hey, video. Look, this place was crowded when I first got there and laid down. This is when he was on that Bob Seger bag look, here. Hey, yeah. What was he singing? Against about? the wind. Against the wind, boys. Good one. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. The other one he has is... Again, so well. Yeah, and he, the other one is, is hey, here I am again, up on stage, playing star again. Turn the page. Against the wind. <laughs> against the wind. That's how they end it. Against the wind quite often. Yeah, about seven times. Yeah. I end. counted it. Yeah. And when end. you walked into my office today, I was actually listening to Against the Wind on Amazon Music trying to count how many there were. I love it. <laughs> That's amazing that but you hey, just hang out. But this is what I do. Look. I made yeah. the whole airport on that end of it. They all left. I well, guess they didn't like my singing. <laughs> but hey, guess Shocker. what? Shocker. Guess what? What? Ask me if I care, J.D. I know you don't, baby. Well, there you go. All right. So you were just having a good time sitting Look, on the floor. I got bored on a, on a nine-hour delay, you know, and it was the fault of the airport uh, I, I, I do want to say thought something. I'd let that, I do let that say in something. there. That's what I'd have said. So, so how's it the airport's fault? Because we sit on the runway for about twenty minutes, saying, uh, "Oh, there's some uh, disconnect at the uh, fort." Uh, okay, DFW. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. Well, I have a question though. There's a, and I think of the well, disconnect. just I need to tell the listeners. Did, he had a nine hour layover, four hours from his house. Like yeah. you could have been home. No, it ain't no four hours, JD, unless you drive like Andretti, 140 miles an hour, like you. Uh, uh, I yeah. don't drive by. Hey, well, don't, let me don't, tell you, don't even I, I start me. Okay, because, four and a half. Hey, times. don't even start me because hey, somebody, somebody got stupid in front of me again, folks. Motor speed, well, and I got to okay. repent or road rage. <laughs> okay, see, so God and Texas Motor Speedway is further, isn't it? It's, yeah, you got to go past the airport. Well, right? hey, look, it ain't no uh, four hour drive. I go to see my daughter over there in Fort Worth. Okay, right outside of Hearst. This is in Dallas. You got to remember, I'm there's a lot saying, of cities in that city. I'm just saying how far it is from here to the racetrack. I'm just but. saying it's only with a with a premium Bucky stop. You're no more with than a four hours. Bucky stop. You're no That's more right. than four hours and forty five minutes. I like. I don't want to hear. It. I like I for that to happen just so I can go to Bucky's. Absolutely. Well, and just are. stink that rental car up with all the beef jerky okay. I can imagine. Uh, oh, oh, get me a brisket and a sausage sandwich. Hey, they so. got yeah, they mm. got good sandwiches mm. over there. Lord, Bucky's. They've Bucky's got, come to West Monroe. They have please. got everything. They got Bucky's, that big old okay. container with them round cheese balls. <laughs> Boy, look, if somebody right. from Bucky's decision making crew is listening, I've to got this, a spot. Right. We've got a large area by the Ike. Downing Pines exit. Oh, We'd yeah. love to have you. Okay. Sure yeah. We would I love bet, to have hey, you hey, in West Monroe, hey, Louisiana. Good location for you. It Please. would be the best place ever. It really would. It would it really I'd stop would. there twice a day on my way to work and on my yeah, way home. Way. I don't know that I would stop there as often as that. I'd build duck calls. Because it's I. a little bit of a of a road trip. But tell well, me. Did you, you just need, say you would build duck calls there? You need to yeah. repent. But just look, here's the deal. For six dollars, you can get a brisket sandwich there. Ooh. That is better than any other brisket in this town. Okay, Ooh. but that's mm. not. And it's six bucks. You that's a low eat, bar, unless, though. But unless, you can't eat lunch that cheap well, in this hey, town. Unless you have Jay Stone cook one. Well, exactly. Okay. I, no, that's I, what I, I, but that's what I, I'm saying. I'm saying to stop and get oh, okay. the meat. We're we don't know how to do ball. barbecue here in West Monroe, Louisiana. Well, bar... Mm. Yeah. Well. Speaking of, I'm going to give a shout out real quick. Me and Willie spoke in Longview, Texas, and we were there, and they brought, us, barbecue. they brought us they brought us something called That's the, three hours away. The Country Tavern in Longview, Texas. George mm. Bush apparently used to go there, like stop his plane just for the barbecue. Mm. It was the best brisket I've ever had. Mm. There you go. Let's go, you go get one. How do we get on brisket? Oh, right. Bucky's. Yeah. yeah. Bucky's. Well, how do you not get on brisket? I mean, right. how, how do you get off of brisket? Yeah, that's, 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 that's a real a, question. Hey, that's the question. How do you get off of it? That's exactly. But they're right. they're opening more Bucky's. Yeah, there's a few in Tennessee. The, got one Georgia? down there on the Redneck Riviera, Georgia. They going right past us. Uh oh. Hmm. I don't appreciate it. That's right. Yeah, we need to get a phone call with Mister Bucky himself. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I'll help. I don't know what it'll take, but I'm in. I'll call the mayor. Yeah, I'm in. I can Google her office number. <laughs> we got a great mayor. I, she Google would help boys. get a Bucky's here, and I'll never vote for anybody else again. Yeah. Hey. We need a Bucky's. You should put out a commercial, Sai. You You've got power. Me? You going to pay me? 
Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> Everything about money with you. Like oh, yeah. Hey, well, hey, you got to pay the worker, boys. <laughs> <laughs> a worker designs his wages. That, that, that's that's biblical. That okay. is biblical. He ain't, he ain't hey, lying. You feed the donkey that treads the mill, boys. <laughs> oh, boy, we got a prize when I'm here to tell you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, let's take our first break. We'll be I back fell, right after that. I fell we'll right back. into that. <laughs> What did you just say, Gavin? Hunting's dangerous. Which is why you, need you get, have to get a good night's sleep. You got to uh, sleep good. Because if not, it's even more dangerous. Yeah, I know. Uh, hunting is way more dangerous when you're tired. Johnny D, are you still loving your Helix oh, sleep mattress? I used to toss and turn trying to get comfortable, and now I just lay down like I'm in a fluffy cloud. It's like those streets of golden heaven, but it's just a mattress made of comfort. Hey, I agree with you. Look, mine, love it. I, I, you like fluffy cloud. I went with more like a little softer than the floor. So I need a little yeah. bit stiff yeah. mattress for what I got going on. No, but sir. look, little that's the farmers. beauty about it. Yeah. Little you they got one for everybody. And they tell you what you need. Yeah, all you got to do is fill out a quiz. Look, may take two minutes. Uh, depends on how technical you want to get with your answers and all that. But look, it'll match your body type, sleep preferences. And all the other stuff that goes in it even takes your spouse into the equation if you have a spouse and they're sleeping next to you. So it'll help make the perfect mattress for you. Why would you want to buy a mattress made for somebody else? Get one designed for you. Everybody is unique and Helix knows that. So they have several different styles and models to choose from. They have soft, they have medium, they have firm. Anything you want, they even have some that'll cool you down. I like medium firm. This ain't a steak, but we're close. You know. <laughs> so if you're looking for a mattress take the quiz order the mattress your match to and the mattress comes right to your door ship for free you never have to go to a mattress store again which is awesome uh helix is awesome but you don't need to take our word for it helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 and by gq and wired magazine helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving sleep all you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash duck, take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that'll give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. They'll even come pick it up if you don't love it, but we think you will. Helix is, even has financing options and flexible payment plans, so you can have a great night's sleep, and it is never far away. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and and two free pillows for our free listeners pillows. at helixsleep.com slash duck. One more time, that's helixsleep.com slash duck. A pillow's important, too. Yeah, boy. Hey. You weren't really on key. I don't hear that. Well, he's never hey, on key. The singer has the option of whatever key he's singing. Yeah. That's what the, the song band's goes got to catch up to. It. So he's, right. the hey, singer's got the key A good musician the will keep up, okay? Trust me. Okay. In the jailhouse now, in the right, tune of hey, that's an Elvis. That's yeah. an Elvis hit song. I'm in the jailhouse now. And that's at the end of Lonely Lonesome Street, whatever it is. Huh? Yeah. Lonesome Street. Yeah. He was. A, he got it almost yeah. right. I didn't. I didn't. I messed it up. That's close to old brother. Yeah. Oh brother, where art thou? It's, huh? No, that's <laughs> not. That's the Soggy Bottom boy. I know, and yeah. at the end of Soggy, uh, at the end of that movie, he goes I'm in the jailhouse now in the tone of E, boys. Yeah, well, I'm in the jailhouse now. Yeah. Yeah. Rambling, uh, that's, that's good. That's good. I'm in the jailhouse now. Mm, Johnny Gowan, folks, steal and rob. Well, hey, I'm in the jailhouse now. They'll give you five dollars for singing in that can. Hey, in that can, boy. That's it, boy. We should start a singing podcast. I believe they call that radio. But hey. yeah, so would you no. ever live perform? Well, since it was four of us, yes, I live perform on the podcast. Uh, if I got a podcast, guy with a guitar in here, no, would you? no. No, because no. ain't no, there ain't no auto tune in here. No, so. ain't no auto tune. <laughs> I love it. I'm to break, I'll break this over your head. Don't be telling them secrets. Uh, uh, I mean, I could go record an album with auto tune. Why would but you if I ever if I ever had to play live, I'm in trouble. They go, I'm going to be found Oh, no, out. hey. People don't realize the people that do this for a living – Anybody okay. could do it. Oh, no, 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 no. That no, was no. your words, not mine. No, 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 Let's no. Change Cause, cause look, you have no idea how much junk that's got to be in your head to do this and do it good. 
What? Okay. Yeah. The front man. Okay. Oh. Size is the front man. Uh, so well, he I was not. front man. Yeah. Mm. He was definitely yeah. lead. Because hey, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. Because you you Ooh. got to interact with the crowd, and sometimes if you get to interacting with the crowd, then you forget what you're even up there to be doing. That's why I told start, you. You just start having fun and having a good time like I was at the airport, boy. I was right. laying there having a blast. Which is why I said you should have been the next Ray Stevens. Right. Well, hey. You would have, you'd still be doing it. Well, I had an opportunity, and it was not handled right, is right. My, my personal opinion, which that's like a, yeah. But look, you yeah, let me take you. Two hey, elbows, J.D. Look, there's two places. You let me take you to Branson, or you let me take you to Dollywood, <laughs> and, buddy, you about to get paid. Well, hey, Branson, let's, Missouri. Well, hey, let's, go to, let's go to Dollywood. Well, hey. Because that's where Dolly's at. I don't okay. think she lives there. I just oh, think does she What is Dollywood? Up. Hey, Dolly Parton's place. Up is there, there like roller coasters? Of, yeah, outside of Knoxville. They yeah. got all them same kind Tennessee. of. Tennessee. They got all this like Branson. Pigeon Forge, that whole yeah. area. Yeah. Mm. We need yeah. to go to an amusement park. It's in the park Tennessee park Hills, time. boys. Yeah. That would be fun. You know where they have all them little would side Would you ride shows? a roller yeah. coaster with me? Nope. He's I, don't, out. I, don't do, I don't do roller coasters. Why? Go. Yeah. I think you'd be a lot of fun on them. Although they no. make me sick. He's taking enough years off his heart. He don't need anything else. Yeah. I like they, some they roller coasters. I went Running to, up and down things. No, no. I went to Six Flags last year, and I thought I was still a child, and nobody was there because of the pandemic. <laughs> and you had to wear a mask, and it was 150,000 yeah. degrees outside. And it wasn't nobody there. Either. They're like, yeah. well, you're wearing a mask. It was kind of silly rules. and nobody, but So you could just go on a roller coaster and then look at the line, and nobody was in it, and go Sorry, again. Go hey, again. Go again. Roll it again, boys. I've never woke up in so much pain in all my life. From trying to hold on? No, just from going on roller coasters that much. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then... Well, it's dangerous. Then we went on the... Dangerous? Yeah, it's dangerous. It's not dangerous. Oh, okay. That's your idea. Okay. <laughs> He's still your, here. That's your but opinion. But then we went on the Judge Roy Scream, the old wooden one. Oh, that one's rough. It'll hurt you. I back. felt like I got out of a boxing match with Muhammad Ali, and I just needed... It was the most painful experience of my life. Huh. So there's an age where you can't ride roller coasters anymore. Uh, you might be there. You got to oh, ride no, I was there. I was, I was there when I was young, J.D. I, don't, I ain't into roller coasters. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of them. Mainly because when you're my size, you don't really fit in that seat so well anyway. So you got a lot more travel between you and that bar. And like your knees hit things. Oh, yeah. It's just, yeah. I mean, you do. You it's, walk away from there like it's a pain. Yeah, it's a painful ordeal. I yeah. like yeah. roller coasters. I do, too. Yeah. And but, I, guess I don't have a need for speed either. So, like, I mean, my life no, is pretty I, well. Hey, he's got the need for speed. I so got the got need one. for speed. But I didn't, I didn't ride roller coasters from the time I was like five until junior high because my mom made me ride Space Mountain at Disney World when I was a kid, and she put me on the front row, and it's dark in there. Oh, it ain't, that ain't nothing. And I screamed like a girl because Scares you couldn't see, and then all of a sudden you're going down. I don't like them dark roller coasters. Yeah. I had the stars in the sky. The, I'm just saying, oh. a five-year-old on the front row of Space Mountain is scary. It messed me up for a while. I know something else I scared. scary. Now we, know, now we know what's wrong with him. He My mom scared, he was scared as a child. I just texted you a picture to show something. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Nope. Hey. My wife sent me a text. Message. I know what he's probably got in the picture. What? The a gross snake, probably. I don't hey. know. It's not coming through, Mark. Hold on. I'm looking thinking, at pictures hey. of Dollywood. I yeah. really think we should go. You should have it now. Uh -oh. I ran uh -oh. into one of Sai's favorite critters on Friday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, let's oh, see. goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it up on the screen. I ran into one of Sai's favorite critters while I was fishing on Friday. Mm. Walking the bank. Good gracious sake. I ain't even, even going to lie to Whoa, you now. There we go. That one made me jump a little. Whoa. Is that a that's a rattler. Yeah, that's a rattlesnake. Okay. And what uh, were you at? I was fishing, walking the bank of a pond. Uh-huh, yeah. He ain't got no tail no more. We done got rid of that. Yeah, I'm out. Look at that big old yeah. thing. Boy, he was a good one. There's a roller coaster for you. I got a good story about You know that. how mm. I got him? Now zoom uh, out a little bit. With your foot? You see that oh, you see, see the that. end of that fishing rod? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I beat the snot out of him with that. You tear the rod up? I I tore my reel up. I bent the handle <laughs> on my reel. <laughs> I, I was so too. mad it ended my fishing uh -huh. day. I'd done caught like seven or eight off a of frog. It was worth yeah. it. Oh. Well, I mean, yeah. I actually done that one, swam across the not a uh uh but a cottonmouth, big cottonmouth. Yeah. Fishing one day and I threw out there and hooked him. 
They fight good. Yeah, I they wouldn't have done that. Oh, no, no, no. no. Now thing, you got to take him off. No, you caught him. No, I didn't. I, hey, once I got him up there on the bank, cut the line and let him go. I didn't have a gun. So you gave up your cricket? Mm. Oh, I, I gave it whatever I was fishing with. Oh, yeah. No, I... I, I don't fool with snakes. I boys. looked around for a stick, and I Dang couldn't I find a snake. stick. So I looked at my rod. I said, well, we're going to find out what you made of, son. Hey, but here's what <laughs> here's the deal. We was coming home in Alabama when I owned the place up there, and they're cleaning the barn at the bottom of the hill right where my driveway starts. Uh -huh. So, look, they're, they're pointing in the middle of the road. He, they done yeah. scared a big rattlesnake out of the barn. Ooh, done flushed him. Yeah, and told me, hey, skid on him, skid on him. So I slide on him, you know. Back off of him, and they go up there, and the guy, you know, cuts his head off. Then he said, you want these rattlers? I said, no. So, <laughs> hey, he cut the rattlers off. So he, cut got the, enough rattlers. he cut the head off, cut the rattlers off. My son gets out of the truck, and he's got a pair of old leather boots on. And he goes out, and he puts, steps right in the middle of the snake's body. Okay? And guess what happened? Where the head used to be? Pop that boot, big bloody spot. Yeah. I said, hey, even without a head, they're still going to try to bite That's you. why you're noticing that one. There's a size 13 oh, securely yeah. on that oh, one's yeah, head. On his head? Yeah. 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 Securely I'd on that I'd just run. One. No, you can't run. I like fishing there. I didn't want to hey. have to worry about yeah. him again. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. No, oh, that's, no. A, that's a yeah. place I frequent. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. So I didn't Oh, no, you got to kill him. Yeah, it's like that commercial, the spam commercial. Got him in the nose. Got Look, it. I'm a big believer. What? <laughs> Spam commercial. Well, There's you this... got to hit him in the nose. Yeah. Got to. Don't knock it till you fry it. That's right. That's um, right. But I'm a big believer go. in not killing things that I'm not going to eat. That's a good Except thing. for venomous snakes yeah. where I could be tromping around in that in the dark. I and, may have to yeah. come back to you know, there. Yeah. Well, if you don't look and, for them, you don't <clears> see them. <throat> I wasn't looking for him when I found him. That's right. <laughs> and he didn't like finding I heard that all too familiar sound of zzz. I said, oh boy, where is he? Yeah. And then I got him out of that grass and got him up on that road. And that's when, oh, he, that's when he, bad yeah, times that's when he, I, he, he, he got the beating of his yeah. life. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just don't, I'm not into killing things for sport. If I, if I whack him, I'm going to eat him. But a well, venomous that, snake is a different that one. one. There, that's, is, a different, that's a different deal. I call that self-preservation. Yep. So. Yep. I ain't getting I, taken out by no snake. I would prefer not to, but I realize also I'm around them a lot. Well, a I'm shocked lot. that none of the Robertsons, since we stay in duck blinds all the time, I'm just, it's a miracle nobody's got snake bit. Oh, Where it is. is my sheaves? Yeah. They're in my office. Oh, they're in the office, boys. Yeah. I saw them whenever I left out of there to come in here. I just realized I, I didn't have choked. them on. <laughs> Where is my shoes? I just noticed I didn't have them on. Oh, man. We need to dive deeper into that. Well, hey, let's, we can dive there as soon as we get back What's from up? this break. What's we'll up? be right back. I need to know why you don't ever wear shoes. Si. Yes. You walk outside and see a $20 bill laying on the ground. You picking it up? Oh, yeah. I pick it up and put it in my pocket. Why? So I can go to Finders poker. keepers. Because it's right. free money. That's right. Free money, boy. Everybody likes free money. And I'm going to try to double it. You know where else you can find free money? Right. Where? Scoremaster.com slash duck. Look, our friends. Right, tell me more. The, <laughs> <laughs> but the, wait. The, <laughs> the credit scientists over at Scoremaster have figured out an algorithm that helps you get 97 extra points on your credit score. But most people, like us, don't have no idea how to get them. That's why they're called scientists and we're called people. I don't really know. But look, adding 97 points on your credit score is just like finding that $20 bill except finding a whole bunch of $20 bills. It Ooh. means fast loan approvals, huge discounts, and low interest rates on everything from buying or refinancing a home to leasing a new car to applying for a credit card. How fast is ScoreMaster? One member raised his credit score 33 points in just five days and another 43 points in just a couple of weeks. ScoreMaster is so easy, it takes about a minute to get started. And minute. if you hurry, you get to try ScoreMaster for free. That's right. Try ScoreMaster free and see how many plus points you can add to your credit score. Go to scoremaster.com slash duck. That's scoremaster.com slash quack quack duck. And once again, scoremaster.com slash duck. Are we going to talk right. about Galvin? Why? What? Why yeah. you hate shoes? I don't know. I, I just don't. 
Have you I don't got like shoes. have you got bad shaped feet, Galvin? Bad no. shape? Yeah, like no. my brother. Oh, he's flat footed as they come. Oh. Now. Oh, okay. Look at that toe uh, now. His arch left Gross. the chat. Oh, whoa. That thing, that I can't thing. even see it. Okay now. That thing's supposed to wait. come off there. Oh, it's wait, a time call. out. That last time we was talking about lizard people, right? Lizard people. I'm yeah. here to confirm Godwin's got scales on his feet or something. Uh oh. No, He's no. got scales, boys. Well, don't put it up that, hey. that right there. That that he, looks like scales. Uh -oh. What is he it? Got, he's got scales. Hey, get out of here. <laughs> I don't like feet, man. Them things were really flat. He don't have a fetish, is what he's saying. No, Godwin's got like a what kind of boat is that? Like Gator Tail makes one flat bottom. Oh, oh flat bottom. That way you can just, okay. made for running over stumps and okay. stuff, you can right. just kind of uh, yeah. go over them without getting caught. That's what yeah. Godwin's feet is like. I got a like. duck foot. What, what are you is. wearing, sandals? No, you ain't got a duck foot. Yeah, I was wearing flip-flops. You ain't got webbing. Okay, so you ain't got a no, duck foot. No, I ain't foot. got webbing. Well, you ain't got a duck foot. It's just wide. I just really like socks. Triple E. Socks, comfortable yeah. ones, yeah, absolutely. All, no, all, even uncomfortable. No, nah. you can't breathe no. if you wear socks. I'm with Martin on that. You Some socks are a gar. Yeah. You can't breathe if you wear socks. No, nah, it takes all your air away. Uh, uh oh, I can't wear them then. Wait, what? I got. Hey, I got. <laughs> how, does on you, how does something on your How does something on your feet take your air? Away? I don't like long legged britches. <laughs> well, I knew that. I'm well, with hey, him on that. I one. understand that because your legs ain't long. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, hey. No, they're not. <laughs> Hi, Al. That's like old no legs, a cameraman. Yeah. Old no legs. We're yeah. back on him. No That's legs what, have legs, legs, everybody. Phil nicknamed everybody, and he nicknamed him Baby because short, he borrowed his waiters. But Godwin is kind of a, a wardrobe anomaly. He he don't like anything on his feet. Okay. He hates britches. Yep, britches. And this is the first time, and I don't know how long, I've seen him with a regulation hat on, where the top of it ain't missing. Oh, well, he's got yeah. Yeah, yeah, he usually has them uh, dealer's hat. <laughs> dealer's hat. <laughs> yeah. well, well, I like to handle that. Hey, well, that ball if, head showing. If you call that a dealer's hat, you might need to call a 1-800 number well, no, no, and admit I, Well, things. it's a dealer's hat. Yeah. And he's ball head. The reason he's, it's a dealer's hat is a ball head shining and it blinds you. You can't see the car's good. Oh, my goodness gracious. I don't think that's scientific. Godwin, what'd you do this no, weekend? No, it's business. It ain't scientific, J.D. It's business. It's, it's business, business, son. Yeah. <laughs> Godwin was catching him some big old catfish. Oh, yeah. You oh, got any pictures of him? Big old fish. No. Uh -oh. Didn't take no pictures. What was this? Memphis. Memphis. We're walking in Memphis. You went, you went to the pyramid. Uh, I went to the Mississippi River Monsters oh. tournament. Well, what kind of monsters did you catch? 40 pounders, big as I caught. 40 pounds. Well, hey, What's the biggest going? catfish you caught? The biggest one, I I didn't catch it, but the biggest one I've ever seen was about 98 pounds. They had 102 way. Big up. Okay. And you could see, they said they caught him on the trout line, but they lied. You could see the webbing marks on his body. I thought you said you caught him. No, no he said I he said saw I it. I didn't. Uh -oh. yeah. The biggest one I saw. And look, it was so weird. There it is. He looked like a prehistoric monster. Because his uh, bottom lip, you know, protruded. It looked like a big giant spade, and it huh. come out. It come out like probably a foot, uh, you know, further than the one the, his head. <laughs> it was weird looking. It really was. Well, I had him an eye, an uh, op with one hand oh, no, and no, 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 Hey, it looked so weird because you know. This thing was about, what, all good grief? He was as long as that desk they're sitting at. Did he come out and say, ain't got no gas in it? No. Yeah. no. They weighed in a 102 channel What's wrong was the biggest one. Got they no had gas. Up there. 102 channel? Yeah. Not a blue? Yeah, blue. That's uh, what I meant. Okay. Humpback 100, blue. 102. How much? They caught one? Yeah. On the rod and reel? Mm hmm. I bet that was fun. Hey, look, this is, I'd never fished this way before. I went up there and got to fish with Bill Dance. Which was pretty cool. Okay. But you use cut bait, and you turn your boat into the current, and you turn your trailer motor on, and you drift back half the speed of the turn current, and you have like a six-ounce weight and two hooks. So you just, you're you dragging drop, on the bottom? You drop it to the bottom, and you keep your reel disengaged. Because you're letting line out a lot. Yeah, okay. And you just bump it off the bottom. Bump. Okay. Bump. Bump. 
And then that sucker grabs a hold yeah. to it. And by the time then, it comes it. in front of him. And that sucker starts to head for the middle of the river and tries to pull that rod out of your hand. Then you know you got to be, well, I keep saying we'd be reeling, reeling, reeling. I'd say, yes, it's a good one, you know, because it's weighty. And then them bubbles come up. They said, oh, yeah, that's a big one when you see them bubbles. Oh, no, yeah. So yeah. what do you do with a 40-pound catfish? I, some people take, take them to a and restaurant and they, they cook them, but they, yeah. When they get yeah. that big, they're not good eating. Okay. I mean, you wouldn't think they would be. Well, no, no, they're not. They're too tough. They're too tough. Yeah. Hold on. So but they fall on a rod and reel now. Oh, yeah. No, they, especially so, if they weigh Is an Opelousas catfish the same as a flathead catfish? Yeah, that's yeah. The same thing. And how big did you say the one you saw? 98 pounds. 98? Yeah. Okay. What's the he world was a bull. record? The world yeah. record is 100. But what was weird, though, pounds. is look, I'm yeah. telling you, his Cotton bottom pants. lip stuck out like maybe 14, 16 inches further than the, his top lip, mm. the flathead part. There was a person yeah. there, a team there, said they had the state record in Tennessee, and the weight or something got hung up in the net. It got off. They said it had been the state record or close. Well, I'll fix that. For a flathead? The, yeah. The record will probably be in Kentucky Lake because the the uh, nah. people that are in charge of the lake had to check the dam, okay? So they hired a couple of divers. Oh, Lord. And they this is the... What uh, I can't remember the guy's name is Nelson. He played a uh, you know scuba. It was a scuba show. You know he was always in the ocean doing something. Double tanks. Both of these divers had double tanks, so they go down to the bottom of the dam, and look, they got a light, but they're they're walking right against the bottom of the dam, and they both, you know, they just both they, they, after they come up, they tell their story. Tell me, well, we we just. It's real eerie down there. It's black. You can't see nothing. You got to have a little light. Yeah, you yeah. still can't see much because it's murky. But they felt, you know, I felt eyes on me. You know, that's what they said. <laughs> they do this with a with the light. And their six catfish had swam up behind them. Okay. And the guy said, hey, immediately, you talking about bubbles? Oh, they, yeah. there was bubbles because, hey. They had, they had to the top, okay? Sharks yeah, in Kentucky. Because he boy. said, hey, look, we got out. You know, and the guy sitting there, the state guy sitting there, when they come up, he said, y'all just went down. What's the problem? He said, we ain't going back down. And they said, the guy said, wait a minute, how you got to check the dam? He said, no, you got to find somebody else to do that. And they said, why not? He said, because when we uh, felt real strange, something was looking at us, mm-hmm. we shined the light, and, yeah, something was looking at us. Six catfish that could eat me and these double tanks. Hmm. He said, so, no, sir. We're hmm. out. That We're story out. That story exists at every dam in uh, America. Yeah. Tennessee, I don't uh, wildlife and fisheries are involved ah. at the weigh-in, and they get all the catfish in a tank and release back in the <laughs> river. <laughs> There's uh, people coming around when, you, uh. when you're in the weigh-in line, coming around, checking the pH, and oxygen levels in your live wells and it's a pretty big deal it's nice it's, oh, it's a good deal i just sure. i just remind me talking about all these fish what an old stone fix the head south boys well get out of here for, for redfish oh we are we okay but it'll be uh, what wednesday morning wednesday morning so yep, you going gonna, fishing in venice we're gonna go red fishing in venice and blue wing teal hunting also yeah y'all going to kill them we're going yeah. to burn our gun barrels off. Burn them yeah. off, boys. Yeah. Good. Nah, cause I that, think old I'm... Bill, that old Bill Gavin right there. <laughs> I got to hey, close my computer. Missed that. Hey. <laughs> Look, well, I, just, uh, I fished with him. Who phone ring? Bill was. Dance was there. Yeah. Everybody Bill was Dance one. was there, boy. I was just looking at... <clears throat> Bill Dance. Sounds like a country song. That's it. Boy. Oh, wait, it is. No. It. All right, let's take another break. We'll be right. back and right we'll after We'll be this. right back. We'll be back. The bird dog is on point, boys. Uh, well, what you pointing at? I'm pointing at a back by 35 years of research and development of Mega XL. What and about- it's only found on one place on this planet we live on, boys, this round ball. It's New Zealand, pristine waters in New Zealand. Look, it grows on the vine. It never touches the bottom of the ocean, okay? It's a muscle. 
They've learned the process, okay? And we get the benefits for it. What are the benefits, Si? Hey, Tell us. You've got inflammation in your body. It's painful. Hey, go get you a couple of Omega XLs, boys, and down them and... And the problem is what? Uh, inflammation there, in your body. There we which go. Which is painful. Look, that's good enough for us. If you're suffering with aches and pains and stiffness, you need to try Omega XL. Look, we've got the living embodiment of it inside. We're going to help get you started. Order Omega XL now, and you get not one, but two bottles. The second bottle and the second is free. the second one is free, boys. That's exactly right. You can visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or <laughs> I like that inflection. <laughs> yeah. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 800-844-4888. And one last time, 800-844-4888. boys. 88. <laughs> we're back. Look. It's and good. we're back. It's good news time. We've, got, we've actually got some good news to share. Uh, the first one. And I don't know. I know Gobble knows. I know John David knows. I don't know if Cy nope, knows. But tomorrow, our what is what's Becky's title? I don't know. Runs the world. Office mother. Yeah. That's what we'll call her because yeah. she's like a mom or a grandmother to all of that's us. Right. Um, <laughs> Becky's husband Wayne is a diabetic who's been uh, going into renal failure for probably the past year and a half or so. Well, they did a test, and Becky is a very strong match. So tomorrow, Becky is donating her kidney to her husband Ooh. to keep him from having to be on full-time yeah. dialysis. Okay. So, folks at home, if you're listening to this, yeah. be sure to lift up the McDaniel That's family uh, in prayer that, yep. that her surgery goes swimmingly, that Wayne's surgery goes swimmingly and that there's no rejection and yeah i mean how cool is that for a wife to be yeah. a match to a husband to be able to be a living donor to her husband to give that's him a cool. kidney i mean that's awesome so si, would you give christine a kidney i can't answer that <laughs> no i'm kidding I'm, ser I'm serious i'm kidding that's that's uh yo that's one of the things there that yo my hat's off to her that's incredible. No, no, no. I mean yeah. it's it's incredible yeah, that, that, that it's match. a match yeah. and that it's yeah. And also during this process, they found a small tumor inside of Becky's kidney that she would have never known about had it oh, not okay. had it not been for this. So they're going to actually remove the small tumor yeah. before they put it into Wayne. So, it, I mean that thing could have grown and grown and grown, and she would have never known and could have ended up having kidney cancer and passing away. So I mean it's mm. just. It's crazy how the Lord works well, in no, all no, of yeah. this, ain't it? Well, the but the verse is, the Almighty moves in mm. mysterious ways. Mysterious Miracles ways. are still happening. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I mean. But like Martin said, y'all please lift up the McDonald Daniel's family. Okay. Amen. Amen. And that, that uh, it, nothing will be rejected. That everything in the surgery will be, go good. Quick recovery. Yeah, and a speedy recovery. I would say it's going to be a lot quieter around the office, but Becky don't make much noise anyway. No, nah, so. you don't even know she. You don't even Look, know she the woman walks she around here. Around she speaks door. softly, but she carries a big stick. And she's and always, if you get out of hand, she takes care of business. And she's always got the checks. <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Becky, uh, Becky's everybody's favorite person because she's got the checks. Yeah, That's right. hey. absolutely. But Becky, oh. Wayne, we love y'all. Praying for y'all, yep. and uh, you know, man, it's going to be awesome if. If everything works out, yep. that's going to be super, super, super cool. So, But anyway, the other good news I found, I was perusing the Book of face, Faces last night. Book that's, of Faces. That's Facebook. Oh, the book for, of, the, the Facebook. Hey, the book, book of and Faces. And so this guy, Jesse, I don't know him for nothing. This was just a shared story. What, had bought some used tires off an old boy, and he was changing some stuff out. And inside one of the tires – was this note. It says, Logan, if you're reading this note, I expect you're changing a tire. As I write this note, you are eight years old. Papa Bill is working very hard, always saying this is Logan's truck. There are three notes. I wonder which one of these you will find first. Much love. <laughs> Thanks to modern technology. Hidden in the tire. It was hidden in the tire. The, the, the grand, I'm assuming <laughs> this is the grandmother wrote a note about Papa Bill, the grandf grandfather putting this inside tire. 
well, these tires end up being sold somewhere, have a flat, whatever. Well, this guy, Jesse, finds the note inside the tire, puts it out on Facebook. They find Logan. Oh, they found, oh. they found Logan Has via Facebook. Pap- Has he got Papa's truck? No, he doesn't have Papa's oh. truck. They had to sell it due to financial hardships oh, okay. uh, before mm-hmm. before he got it. But this guy just bought the tires from the truck and then found this and was able to give Logan a note from his grandmother and grandfather, which That's I think cool. is That's super cool. cool. That is because hey, I didn't get to know my grandfathers, and I've, it's always made me hot. Yeah, I'm gonna mad say, ain't the word. I would love to find a surprise note from Hold my on, the other notes. You know? yeah. hey, that's what. The, the There's somebody, two more somewhere. Somebody asked on the other one. Said, "Did you check the other tires?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Check the gas yep. tank. There yeah. might be some money taped to one of them. Yeah, yeah, but I thought that was see. So every now and then, technology and social media has some benefit Mer- to yeah, it. Yeah, and oh. merge you know? and merge for something good. Yeah, it's not always doom yeah. and gloom yeah. and 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 all of this. So I thought that was pretty daggum cool. Yeah. I was like, man, that that's awesome to. To have a surprise note from your grandparents yeah. that you never knew existed. That's what a, a, that's a pretty cool experience. thing. We need to start writing notes. Yeah, no. And just hiding, hiding them places. In this yeah. building <laughs> from the duck commander. Because one day this building will be something else, well, I guess. If you go look around Willie's house, you'll probably find a bunch of 20 stashed behind yeah, he, pictures. He hides and, money. <laughs> I don't know. We don't play poker over there much anymore, so he may have quit hiding money in the picture frames. I don't si, know. You need, I, want, I want Si to write me notes. And hide on places for me to find mm-hmm. in 40 years. Yeah. Well, my kids will probably, when I, I pass away and leave this earth, they'll probably have a good time going through all the junk that I've got. You have junk? Oh, junk. From the fans. You didn't and, leave them you know, no notes. All of life. Okay. Hey, Si, we need to get to work on your memoirs. Uncle oh, Si's memoirs. memoirs. Yeah. How funny would that he be? He could have a pretty good yard sale, I'm sure. Uh, you could have a- Oh, I've had a blast. I'm telling you. You know, my short 73 years on this earth, it has been a hoot. Oh, I think you need say. to write some notes so you can keep making us <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need write to write us some notes. Start keeping a journal from here on out. I'd be interested well, to see what you write about us after yeah. we get done with these podcasts. It, it is cool I'm to not. get to find notes. It's uh, Miss Pollock. Well, we talked about that. Left me a bunch of notes. When I went up K- to the home. K- filled notes all the time. It's awesome. It's an awesome feeling to get them. Notes are a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. We have any more good news? Good. Uh, uh, or weird news, strange news, bizarre news? A bunch of sad news and bad news. Well, no, we, don't want that. No. we don't want that yeah, garbage. We don't want that junk. No, that's not, a wel- that's not welcome here in the yep. kids' yep. podcast, that's as it. Phil well, and Jace would well, call Yeah, that. no, I think that's what we need to talk about. What, that they referred to us as the kids? Or the children's podcast? Yeah, whatever they called us. I ain't worried about that. I like it. Huh? Yeah. We win, by the way. Well, I like it because I I tell you all the time. I just turned 14 this year, boy. You just turned 14. Yeah, Yeah, I just don't. They don't never want to grow up. They're like using that to take shots. I ain't growing up. To take shots at us, but I I ain't doing it. But he ain't doing it anyway. That's right. I ain't doing it. Yeah, I would say if that's how somebody like Phil or Jace referred to us, then I say we're doing a good job. Yeah, we win. I mean, if we're known as children because we laugh and have a good time. (laughs) And and, smile. Yeah, Yeah. then then we win. We're winning in the end. Well, what would their podcast be? Uh, Nuh-uh. No. I, might, I, I get, might go give myself a, a treat today. Actually. You asked the relative. I got, <laughs> I got the wrong last name. You got the wrong, I mean, <laughs> they may not think it's funny. They got a good podcast. It's very serious. It is. It's a little more on the serious side. Which hey, this world needs both. These this world needs both sides. They yeah. need the serious yep. side where they oh, really yeah. dig deep into the Bible and spiritual matters, and they need the lighthearted side where we remind people to laugh at themselves and smile. And we still share the word with them. That's right. And I, mm-hmm. we do the same thing they do. Yeah. Thank that's you. Because exactly right. that's what I did, okay, all weekend. What? We shared the gospel. Well, that's good news. Because, hey, that's the deal on my T-shirt. It's, yeah. it's on that T-shirt. Okay. I'm going to get them by osmosis, boys. <laughs> you going to get them by T-shirt? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just by, just you... by, because I had them ask me, tell me, what are them things on your chest there, sir? That's and I said, I'm glad you Beard hairs. That. Yeah. Oh, okay, because so now I will tell you. Jesus' story in about five minutes. There you, five minutes. there you go. Yeah, it's an important story. Oh yeah, no, no. So when we hang our hats on, I hey, that's what I hang everything. It on. gives our 
it gives us a way out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why death don't worry me. Amen. Okay. All it is for me is my address is going to change. Change the address, boy. Change the address. Hey, look, I wish I'd have been at church when whoever preached the sermon on heaven the other day that I missed it. Jason has been talking about it in the blind. That's Pastor Tom. Oh, was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, was I... the guy that stuck his head in? No. No, that's okay. Jeffrey. That's Jeffrey. That's Jeffrey. Okay. Well, yeah. But anyway, I I'll, told him. I'll send it to you on did you know, J.D., found? that one of these days I'm going to be an interdimensional traveler? Are you now? Yeah. Intergalactic Come on. planetary. Yeah. Go Come on. Time will be no issue, okay? No. Because I will be an eternal being. Okay? Yeah. We only see a little small portion. What's the of, first thing you're going to do? Huh? Hey, since time is no issue, okay, and I will be able to blink my eyes and go... Take a nap. 500,000 miles, okay, and be there in no time as it is because, hey, I'm eternal. He's eternal, boys. That's it. And so, hey, I'm going to see all of what God has created. That's what I'm going to do once I get to heaven. You're going to be a traveler. I'm going to be a traveler, boys. Because I'm a traveler. And then tell me, good grief. Good night. Yo. There's a mountain. There's a mountain of diamonds just laying mm. there. But I don't need none of it. <laughs> How about that? There's a river of goat. Can, can you, you, can can you imagine it? being <laughs> so you, happy? Ain't got no use for it, boys. Can't oh, use it. I hey. love it. Hey. I love it. Put so simply, there's a river of goat. Can't yep. use it. Can't, can't, can't use, use it, it boys. But it looks nice. But hey, but it's, it's really pretty. pretty. It's going to be pretty. But just like. think about all the rubies and the, the sapphires and all the stuff that God has created. Oh, yeah. Whenever that. That part in Revelation where they describe it about the amethyst of the and, and all the different oh. colors of the jewels, no, man, no. That, yeah. that's a. I got you covered. That's a cool today's thing. Bible verse. Oh, that's oh, a cool right. deal. Uh, Unreal. I mean, you just think about that because you see those colors here, and imagine them magnified. Well, no, no, because look, if you look at okay, okay, look at the bird kingdom, look at the fish kingdom. Because I'm thinking about the parrots that are down in the Amazon. Mm-hmm. All these bright yellow and reds and blues and purples, you know, these are the birds. And then you go to the fish thing, and it's just, you know, good grief. You know, you talking about you talking about a lover of beauty. The creator is a. He's like an eccentric collector, except but no, he goes further than a collector. He's, an eccentric he's the collector. creator of creator. all of it, and he collected what he created. Oh yeah. And he just spoke all that into it. No, no. Yeah, you tell him, hey, he tried. hey, hey, that that go that hits me right in my military well, training. That's what he said. He's you talking about back a to command place? Hey, you talking about a command voice? He spoke the universe into existence. Wow! Mm-hmm. Hey, I feel but he went back to prepare a place. <laughs> what I don't know. Hey, can you imagine good. what that was? That was creation like? happening. That's incredible. Well, look. <laughs> I love it. Let's take a break. We'll come back. Get in that mailbag. We'll be back right, right after this. We think get in a mailbox. All right. We're back. Johnny Oh, D. we're back. Oh, boy. Hello at duckcallroom.com. Duck-com. That's the email address. What's in there this week? Uh-oh. Toby from Denham Springs sent me something that I thought was kind Uh-oh. of funny. Okay. Oh, that's just down what? south. Of My man... Know has one tackle box when he goes fishing just for snacks. Whoa. I'm in. Oh, it's a tack- snack tackle box. He got crackers. It's a snackle box. He got I mean, pieces it, of ham I like a and snackle cheese. Box. He's got mini Oreos. He's got olives. It's a little too fancy for oh. my liking. No, no, hold it, What's that in the top left? Cilantro? Hey. I don't know. It? I can't. Hey, he's that. got green and black olives. Oh. Yeah, well, the other ones is like Kalamata items or something. I'm te- they they oh, good. Oh, hey, this boy. Uh, eat, uh, hey, I like it. I like his style. So he's, he's got a. That's snack-a-box. a good idea. Though. Yeah, a tackle a box, box. A snackle box. Yeah, a a snack-a-box. Snack-a-box. Hey, what's that? A box of toothpicks? Sir? Yeah, you got toothpicks. Wait, are those like little summer sausages cut up in the middle? That yeah. may be. Yeah. That may be. I can't figure out the zoom. My man's got a lot of prep work going, right. but I can appreciate it. Oh no, hmm. I like it. I like his uh, thought processes. Here. I like it. So I think we need to start that. <laughs> we need. To- we need to design <laughs> our snackle. ultimate snackle ultimate box. Snackle, snackle box. box. Well, there you snackle go. Box. You better put a patent on that word. And then we should sell it. 
I think beef jerky and Rice Krispie treats. But I don't eat Rice Krispie treats. What are you doing? I'm looking at this. Oh, he's still looking at it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, them are graham crackers right there. Sir. Yeah. Okay. That is spam. That ain't graham spam. Crackers. That's crackers. That's it's not a, It's that? pink. Oh, and then you got your. Uh, <laughs> he said, "Oh, <laughs> oh, Calamata, uh, Calamata." Ready to go. What's that green and red stuff? That's I think olive. it's an olive. Olive, but that's pimento. Oh, yeah, I stuffed with a pimento. Yeah, stuffed with a pimento. Okay, yeah. we can have pimento and sandwiches. A oh, little snack. Oh, I, crackers. Um, like that's it. fantastic. Oh. It is, and hey, he's got that's a actually thing. brilliant. Because generally, I just throw my snacks in like a plastic bag into the cooler, yeah. and you have to kind of wipe fish slime off of hey, it to some degree. And the toothpicks were is for getting your hors d'oeuvres, hors yeah. d'oeuvres, yeah. or they could be for and pegging that, your sink. Right. And that right. would, yeah. Right. So that's from t- my friend you Toby. Can pick and pick. Toby, yeah, <laughs> I like his style. So. Toby, and he also says, "P.S. Black Panthers are real." Up top. There you go, boy. I wonder what Toby carries in his ammo can during duck season. Oh. Huh? Ooh. Well, I mean, if he takes that fishing. Yeah, he's and got an ammo a can. Hey, snack I, I got to get, I wish Stone would have been here today. We got to work out this snack snack pack, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Stone snack, doesn't let you eat tackle? good snacks, though. Snack They're only tackle. healthy snacks. It's a snackle tackle. Snackle, snackle tackle. tackle boy. All right, well, hey, speaking of snacks. Hey, big snackle tackle box. This one disturbed me, this email Uh-oh. from, Uh-oh. from Uh-oh. Autumn. Oh. Autumn, thank you for not telling me where you're from because I would never go there again after hearing this. <laughs> well, maybe she's know. from the fall. I don't know. But she has a food suggestion for us to try, like we've never eaten it. But I, we've I've never even heard of people eating this. It may sound strange, but I promise it is good. No, it's not, Autumn. No. Peanut butter on your corn on the cob. Wait, what? No, that's there, a good waste of peanut butter and corn. There are some rules. It can't be natural peanut butter. Uh-oh. Why not? And it has to be corn on the cob. Crunchy peanut butter is preferred, but creamy will do. <laughs> She's had braces all of high school, so she hadn't been able to have it in a couple years. I think that's a good thing, Autumn. Yeah. Uh, but it... Peanut butter. And she would really don't like us to all consider trying it and let us let her know if we like it. No, I, I'm not trying. I, it. I ain't trying to do peanut it. butter. Well, I'll what, try it. No. I'm gonna try it because you really peanut good butter corn. on a BLT is awesome. Well, now that is good. But and, see, you, like, and you'd think, no, that won't work. Peanut butter on corn. My father on the cob. got so here, hear that. Me, hear me out here. I'm trying no. to. All right. You take that corn on the cob out of a crawfish bowl nice and hot okay mm. spicy and spicy a little heat to it I still don't and you put a little peanut butter now you got a little sweet to oh. go with your heat no. yeah i'm interested well no no because no i i i might have to change i'm gonna my, try it. i might have to change my mind martin's got a good because that here. peanut butter when you put hot bacon yeah. on it yeah. it melts yeah. so when you put this peanut butter on, on that hot, hot corn, corn on the cob yeah. it ought to melt yep. and make like a glaze yes yeah. what what about whatever happened to butter what a, well, we just had you peanuts. Put, well, you, well, you put that peanut. on there, too. Butter. You know what makes butter better? Peanuts. <laughs> peanuts. Uh, that's yeah, not true. Right. It does. Yeah. I don't know. Well, yeah, I didn't, Autumn. I didn't think, all, right, all right. No, here's the deal. Think, three, three, to one, three to one. Three to one. Three to one. So Y'all you, all had to go home and do this. Well, it ain't crawfish that. season. You have right. to go out to wait a little bit. Right. We'll do some shrimp. We'll do some shrimp. Wait till next year. I will bring it up here and boil it, and we will eat it on the air if y'all actually eat it. Oh, I'm in. I'll do it. Hundred percent. All right, Autumn. And you have I'll to try. have you have to have a no thank you. But portion. hey, I don't want the crunchy. Oh what? I, I want no thank, thank you portion. portion. That's one healthy bite. I don't yeah. want. I I don't want the crunchy. Peanut. That's Wait, I, I have to do this too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm not interested. Are you listening to me? Oh. You got to. <laughs> no. Yeah. I don't want the crunchy. I want the it's creamy. Right, we're not done. Yeah, the crunchy we're gonna get from the corn. I don't need no more. Yeah, crunch. I need a crunchy like you said, the corn. I, I'll let all three of y'all try it. If y'all don't make it, you got to have a no thank you portion. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm not doing and it. if you we don't like it, you just say no thank you. I rushed into it too quickly. I don't like it. I changed my mind now. Since Martin said, "Hold it, take it out of a out of a crawfish bowl." Yeah, and then get you a little sweet. Hey, with and the then, hey, then a little caramelization on the corn. Mm. Uh, peanut butter. Hard pass. I think, I think it'd be good. Oh, stop doing that! In my ears. Oh, hey, I'm hungry. All right. <laughs> I've done good. All right, well, we'll switch it up. We won't go food. I have one more food question, but we'll go with this no, guy. No, let's do another. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, I a made, friend. I made dessert. Uh, God, a friend God, from Cajun country. Uh, he wants me to tell y'all that he has a very stocked 100 acre pond. Oh, yeah. I got How that far email. away is it? I don't know. I got. Don't worry about it. I got that email. He's it's in Louisiana, very, though. He's got uh, a very he's stocked in range. If y'all would like to come down south and put a little blast and cast. He's in range. And he's got rice fields, too, that touch the pond. You know, it's funny, though. He didn't say his name. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Justin. Yeah, that's in there. So if we had to pick between Boudin or Cracklins, and you can only have one for the rest of your life, Boudin. which one is Here's it? Here's what you do, according God, to Uncle Si. A, a good Cracklin. Hey, you go to the Mississippi right. River and use the Boudin as bait for catfish. Lost his mind. Okay, and then, hey, then eat you a big bag of cracklings now okay. here's what i'll tell you justin this is america and we ain't got to choose <laughs> no. i'm eating both <laughs> hey, free them, yeah. to pick what we want yeah. justin i'm oh, like boy. i'm like that old boy in that movie radio which one you want that both thick, both that thick slabs homemade ones that's what i the like the cracklings yeah oh, oh absolutely where you get that little rind of fat oh Ooh, yeah, yeah yeah <laughs> well, hey, you talking about crackling Hounds if here. I lived down around Lafayette, I'd weigh 450 minimum. He ain't lying. <laughs> I get down there in Boudin and Crackling country, uh -oh. I'm in trouble. Uh oh, he's in trouble, boys. Yeah. Because well, now when they started putting them things in egg rolls and stuffing them with pepper jack cheese, shut <laughs> your mouth. Praise the uh, Lord. I haven't, right, your mama. Yeah, I haven't eaten in like two weeks. I got to stop reading food questions. Ooh, yeah. Read another. Read another. I don't have another one, luckily. Uh, I, a food. I have one more question. What's the question? Okay, Dexton, uh, from Idaho, living in Utah. He's a man who's into. He's an Idaho and you living in Utah. Yeah, and he knows okay. he he's a, into obscure facts. Insecure. Did facts. you know that Idaho is the birthplace of TV, and Utah is where they invented the frisbee? And he wants to know what Louisiana is famous for, which. You know what it sounds like Boudin to me? and Cracklin. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you want to know what it sounds like to me? There ain't a lot going on in Idaho and no. Utah. Well, right. they made they had oh, to they come had up to with a TV, yeah. and they had to come up with a game where they chunk yeah. something in wide open spaces. Okay. It seems fitting. Yeah, that's I what think I mean we can like. come up with the napkin. That what is your shirt? That's how you can wipe all the grease off your shirt from eating. Yeah, Louisiana Boudin and. Hey, pigs on the Coca Cola was bottled here. We yeah. bottled. We we said, you know what, Coke's good. Let's put it in a bottle. Monroe, Louisiana. Thank you. Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines. Uh -oh. Have they Louisiana. ever left you stranded? Us too. They were started <laughs> here though. That's probably the problem. <laughs> um. So yeah, I just thought that was a weird one. What that else? I'm trying to think. Rattle trap. Alexandria, yeah. Louisiana. Okay. The two reed duck call system. Uh -oh. Right here. Right, right here, here in this room. The Judge Spinnerbait. Duckcommander.com if you would like to purchase one. See, most of them revolve around food and drink. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's pretty fitting for Louisiana. Yep, yep food and drink. We're that's what we do. Food. That's, that's why we're big boys. That's why we're good at it. Except for Sai. Yeah, well, hey. That's been fun. You got us a Bible verse yeah. to send us I out do. on? I do. What we got? Well, hit, hit us with it. Revelation 21, 18, and I'm just going to read till I feel like stopping. Amen. The wall was made of jasper in the city of pure gold, as pure as glass. The foundations of the city walls were decorated with every kind of precious stone. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third a gate. A, yeah. The fourth emerald, the fifth onyx, the sixth ruby, and the seventh chrysolite. The eighth barrel, the ninth topaz, the tenth turquoise, the eleventh jacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. The twelve gates were twelve pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. The great street of the city was gold, as pure as transparent glass. And guess what? All it's there for is beauty. Beauty. You will have no need for the value of it. And we're going to be walking on people. But how gold. cool is that? Yeah. You can't even imagine all that spectrum no. put together. Nope. That's awesome. Can't even think about it. All right. We're going to be staying in a high polluting place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they might make you put shoes on. Nah, <laughs> you might have to wear shoes, Gavin. St. <laughs> right. Peter, Peter's going to tell Gavin, Gavin, flip flop that out, Jack. You got to put on shoes. Mm. <laughs> Don't don't you scuff up these gold <laughs> floors. Right, right. Don't you scuff up these gold. Take your boots uh, off before you walk in. Uh, all right. Look, we'll see y'all next time right Way here down. in the duck call room. We're out. Yeah.